Here we are in 18. Back up a little bit, still that same spot, but it's starting to get a little bit of uh, movement into the edges. Uh, here we are getting ready to put some sand out, help us out a little bit. Overall, everything pretty good. Still fighting the ducks, geese, and uh, poop in the morning. Here, bunkers looking good. I'll let you see that. 17. This is a Monday. So we are, I guess, showing a little bit of growth here on the course itself. Greens are a little soggy. We watered heavy this morning. Made it through the weekend without much wilting. And uh, I don't think they had to hand water Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So we were probably fairly firm yesterday for the end result on the member guest. Uh, greenside bunker, pond. You can tell we've done a little chemical edging on it. Needs a little bit more. We did a small little patch and uh, this was losing water over on the far side over there and uh, that's fresh if you can I don't know if I can zoom this in no uh, that's a fresh patch over there trying to hold a little bit more water and we'd like to get back to where it's the actual height that's supposed to be up to the edge of the rocks uh, probably won't happen anytime this season but in the future there we are 17 16 green We had a head stick here this morning, so bunker washed. I uh, didn't catch it until maybe, I don't know, 9.30 this morning. It, was, it ran for a while, but we'll have it back in shape in no time. Small little patches there. Striping still visible. Uh, this was one of the worst weed infested, so you can still see where the dicamba we used some of the old stuff and it, it did knit back the Bermuda coming out a little bit, but overall it's still fine. Okay, hydraulic leaks. Not too bad. Sprayer blew off the hydraulic filter and we found out they had put a wrong filter on in the past and that's why it blew it off, but all fixed and good. No, no harm done. Wasn't on the green. And really it's just a eyesore. 15 green. I have a few spots we need to get filled back in from the dollar spot. It's actually hung on longer than I thought. I thought it would be filled back in. Uh, so this area over here, it's root encroachment from the trees. I know that the roots have been cut once. They just took a tractor with a trenching attachment and drove basically from the little mound there to the little mound there about 10 feet out from the green and cut the roots but I'm feeling like uh, they've grown back I went in and I actually saw a tree root poking the surface about two weeks ago so I guess I know for sure that it's tree roots just keeping that a little bit extra dry over there 14 green there's our ghetto safety we need to get that fixed but uh, Basically, we just have to buy a couple of new boxes and replace them. Attractive nuisance. Should get that done sooner rather than later. 14 green. Always in pretty good shape. It's enough airflow and it's still protected. We don't have a ton of issues on this one. Definitely some Bermuda encroachment. Uh, entirely too much, but uh, overall pretty decent green. I do see some dollar spot remnants here, just like on 15. Sneak in here real quick in between play. 13 is definitely showing a little bit of signs of the, about a week ago we had a little LDS pop up on some that we thought we had scheduled and didn't, but everything's good now. Twelve. I'll show you the bad spots. Uh, 
no pre-emergent last fall and I really didn't get much post-emergent done on this one this spring so it is pretty rough on the outside of the green but should take its you know in the next I don't know we really haven't got above 95 yet this year and we're already to the end of May so uh, weeds like the poa typically by now it's all gone so this is a little abnormal but we'll take it uh, just kind of a steady 88 to 92 and uh, everything's moving on this got I think I got a line on some free dirt to get that filled in I hope so sooner and that's about it Eleven. Bad spot over here. I believe it's tree roots as well. It's always been an issue. And uh, we didn't get a whole lot done on limbing the branches this year. Looking all pretty shaggy. And that's one thing we've always had in the past is nice maintained trees, but. It's all right, we got this winter. Nine, ten. I haven't really changed the mow lines, and I'd like to go back to the way we used to mow this out, where this was approach basically mowed out at the half inch to three quarters, whatever we've got uh, the approach and the collar mode out at. So probably next time we have these videos on the back nine, this will be a little bit more uh, intermediate to high handicap friendly, just a little collection area.